what's going on YouTube Kevin Reese here early in the morning right now still dark 6 36 a.m. you can see behind me starting to get Sun coming up back here in the east I wanted to show y'all a review of this light uh, the Phoenix HM 65 R I like the light it's a great light don't get me wrong the reason they make all these different lights is because everybody has a different opinion on what they think is a great light now for me I bought this light I wanted to try it out um, I am returning the light I wanted to do a review on it before I returned it. I've taken it through its paces about what I would use it for, uh, mechanic type stuff, undercar kind of looking. Um, it has a spotlight and a floodlight mode, which I'll show you all in a second. It's a great light. For me, I'm just looking for something a little different. And there's also one annoying thing about it that bothers me specifically. I don't know if it will affect everyone, but I'm gonna show it to y'all in just a second. So let's go ahead and get into this review. My name is Kevin Reese. For those of y'all who don't know, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you get notified when I post new videos. Let's go ahead and check this light out. This is what the light looks like when you get it in this nice, pretty package. See here, USB Type-C charging port, which I'm not really a big fan of, and I'll get into that later. Max of 300 hours runtime, battery level indication, lockout function, a five-year free repair. And always nice, multi-fuel 18650 or CR123A. See outside, they show you some feature of the light, dual switches, adjustable headlamp, 60 degrees, USB Type-C charging port outside. Not a big fan of that. And you can see the different modes here. So in flood light mode, your low is eight, eight lumens, go up to medium 130, high 400. And you got your spotlight mode, different outputs, and you see your runtime there. When you put them both together, you get that 1400 lumen output. You can see it's, it's coarse impact resistance, two meters, waterproof IP68 on the water for two meters. You see the size here, dimensions, and the weight is 3.27 ounces, and that's without the battery. Inside, it comes here in this little case. You've got your instruction manual here extra o-ring you got your phoenix warranty card of course this is attached to the light to remind you this little plastic disc here you see comes in the way in between the battery and the light itself to prevent it from accidentally turning on during shipping and storage and i'll show you a lot of these features outside but just to give you a close-up inside you see you've got phoenix here so this is your spotlight and you can see it's got the beams directly going out um, your flood light, you can see here, it's got the beams that kind of disperse outward. So that's like your flood. If you tap it once, that's your battery level indicator. And that means you have 100% charge right now. So, and I just charged this battery, so it's got a full charge. And so there's your battery level indication. Like I said, you've got 100% when four lights are on. When three, you know, there's your percentage, two, one, light flashes. You can see, I mean, a nice rubber you know, this that seals it. But again, y'all, I'm just not a big fan of this outside, charging outside. Some of the lights are picking up now, it's supposed to be more convenient. I'm just not a big fan of this trend of uh, putting a port on the outside of a flashlight when you're trying to water seal it. Um, I would rather, I would prefer a battery, which they make, you know, that are USB, you know, micro USB and USB type C rechargeable batteries that actually you know, but the battery is enclosed. You know, the battery is not outside the flashlight. So, to open this one, get your battery out. You unscrew this cap, and you see this one came with a. I got this one with a nice 3500 milliamp 18650 Phoenix battery, and it does tell you if you look on the on the back side here. Up underneath, you can see your direction for your battery. So you put it in positive first. Your band. A nice band, you know, nice rubber grippy material that extends around. You know, it, it grips pretty well. I think I may have moved it some. I'm not really sure how how it's set up, but it goes. So maybe that's supposed to be towards the front. And I'm coming on to the back of it, Phoenix, and you know, it's got these clips, and I and I've had some other clips in in the past. Uh, I want to say the Streamlight Bandit as well as the Phoenix, the uh, the small one. I, I can't remember the name of it. I've done reviews on both of them. But they have a simple kind of pinch, twist to tighten and loosen. This one is, you know, no matter how you look at it, you know, moving it, trying to adjust the band, you know, it's just, it's, 
getting your fingers in between. It's not as as easy and convenient as as those other lights are. So, you know, that's kind of a, a negative against it. Other than that, y'all, it's just the weight of the whole light. And it, I guess it's because these two beams, you've got this big housing that you have to have with different modes. I'm just not really a big fan of it. I got it to try it out to see if I, you know, how I liked it and maybe it could change my mind, but I'm gonna be returning it. So at least y'all getting to see a video of the light so maybe this will help you all out if you're looking at this light so now we're going to check out some of the beam patterns outside all right y'all so looking at the flashlight like i said you've got your your floodlight which is this beam and your spotlight which is this beam just like we talked about now i'm going to turn my light off on my camera so i can show you all these but like i said you press that button you've got full bars that means that you have a full battery you can activate it either way you know if you you press and you hold, it'll lock it. It'll put it into a lock mode, which I'll show you all these modes. So just like I showed you all the lockout modes, but there's your battery level indicator. This is your low mode here for your floodlight. And you can see it does do a nice job of illuminating all around the area. If you take it up the next, it's medium, illuminates all around, and then you got high. So floodlight really does a great job as far as just what it says, a flood pattern and it does flood very well so this is your spotlight mode so it's going to shine around show it up this trail a little bit so you've got that's the low the medium the high and then that's like your turbo so as far as spotlight you know looking up into trees around and get there again you know, there's there's the moon up there sun coming up in the east but y'all get the idea here you got your spotlight and it does a, it does a, a pretty good job here of illuminating all around you know the area um it, it has a nice throw but it's also got a nice you know nice cone around it um here again this will be floodlight so y'all can just see that difference here i want to kind of compare and contrast so floodlight mode, y'all can see flood, and that's on high. Working up here, spotlight. So we'll go high spotlight and high. So there's flood and off and high spotlight and off. And when we turn them both on together, so floodlight and then hold it down, then you've got, there's your max 1400 lumens of flood and spot both of them so you get kind of best of both worlds you get a nice you can see here the beam right here you get a nice throw and a nice flood so that's how the flashlight functions in the dark one of the most annoying things about this light and it like I said it may not affect everybody but for me I have pretty decent hearing this light and being on your head is even closer to your ears. Whenever it's on the high mode, it makes a high-pitched whining sound, a high-pitched beep. Let me see if y'all can hear that. I'm going to bring it up out of focus up here to my mic and let y'all listen. So I'm going to turn it on. So if y'all listen very closely. y'all can hear that it's a very annoying sound it bothers my ears I can imagine somebody with, with hearing problems that has to wear a hearing aid it'll probably pick up that that frequency I'm not sure but it's it really bothers my ears and when I'm if I have this on high and I'm and I'm working on something in a in a quiet environment it's it's aggravating it's just this constant ringing in your ear so that's one of my one of my biggest complaints about this light so there y'all have it this is my review of the Phoenix HM 65R and why I'm returning it go ahead and hit that like button if this video has helped y'all 
I'm sure there's some of y'all out there that love this light, and that's great. For me, it's just not exactly what I'm looking for as far as you know having to use the different buttons with the different modes. I'm not really a big fan of the rechargeable flashlights that are rechargeable from the actual outside because it just you know even though you have that waterproof that dust cover that goes on you know you still run the risk of getting water into it or getting dust into it but just because it is exposed i like something that seals up completely you put the cap on there's no way for water to get in water or dust to get in unless you take the cap off that's just me that's my opinion i think that's the best design the weight of it just for what i'm going to use it for philosophy of use you know kind of when i need hands-free lighting for stuff i still want good run time but i really don't need the weight and the bulk of two different lenses and just the size of this light overall i would really prefer just like a, a regular 18 650 with a little l shape just simple one button go through the modes turn it on and off and no external charging ports but that's just me so go ahead and like that video if it helped you out. Subscribe to my channel, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm Kevin Reese.